for the people of Austin who didn't have heat, who didn't have light, who didn't have water because it was frozen the pipes above their heads. We lost the lives of 700 of our fellow Texans, innocent kids who froze to death literally in their beds. Vietnam era veterans who died of hypothermia in their trucks trying to charge their oxygen tanks. Families who burned up when the parents set fire to their furniture trying to keep their kids warm. That grid is still not fixed today, though we are all paying higher utility yes. bills as a consequence of that failure. I think about some of us who know that we're probably going to be okay even if the lights and the heat and the water go out again. But to Greg and the constable's point, a lot of other folks who won't yeah. be okay. And right. we've got to be there for them right now. I think about the fact that for women and girls in the state of Texas, we have a total abortion ban that begins at conception. There's no exception for rape, incest, and effectively and functionally the life of the woman or the mother. I've met too many women and mothers who shared with me incredibly personal, incredibly painful stories of what they've survived and what they almost died from in the two months since the most extreme abortion ban in America has become law. I think about the fact that those parents, those young people among us, that gun violence is now today the leading cause of death for children, yeah. for teenagers, for the most vulnerable among us in this state. We lead the nation in the number of school shootings, and it has been 22 weeks since those 19 children and their two beautiful, amazing teachers like Eva were taken from us on the 24th of May, 2022. And in 22 weeks, this governor, those in positions of power in the state have not done a damn thing to make it any less likely that any other child in any other classroom in Texas will meet the same fate as those 19 kids did. Five of the worst mass shootings in American history taken place in this state in the last five years. And the only thing that those in power like Governor Abbott have done is to make it easier for those who should never have a firearm to begin with, to carry them yeah, openly, yeah. publicly on our streets. And then there's this, our democracy and the right to vote. That which makes everything else literally possible. Because here's my, my theory on this. You don't get the most extreme abortion ban. You don't get permitless carry. You don't get a grid that fails and is still not fixed if everyone is voting. Those outcomes are not reflective of our values or who we are or the right. majority in this state. But when it's harder to vote in Texas, yeah. and harder to get your name on the rolls in this state than anywhere else in America, this is the outcome that you get. The only way to overcome that is for all of us to do all we can with what we have, where we are, to reach everybody, mean everybody in our lives. Because though you make me hopeful, and though we are making the state hopeful right now, we cannot allow this to be a false hope. Too many are counting on too much from all of us for us to let them down right now at this defining moment of truth. And as Greg said, as important as it is that you're out here and you're voting, it is absolutely insufficient to the task at hand. There are millions of our fellow Texans who are eligible, though have not participated in recent elections. We have yet to hear their voices. We have yet to count their votes. And I'll let you in on the end of this. If we fail to do what we need to do right now, we won't hear it by the 8th of November, and we'll have the same outcome that we've always had in statewide elections for the last 30 years. This is on us. I mean, no pressure, folks. But <laughs> the future, the fate, the fortune of Texas, I would say by extension, the United States of yes. America, yes. Yes. is in the balance right now. We must do this. So here's my request of you. In addition to voting, please sign up with our campaign to knock on the doors of those who have yet to cast that ballot, the very targets of suppression and intimidation. Rocio, hold that up high. She's got a clipboard right here. And on that clipboard are open shifts to knock on the doors of those voters who can decide the outcome of this election. Now, let me address something that I've heard sometimes from folks in Austin, which is, look, hey Beto, uh, this is a blue county. You're gonna win this. Uh, we don't need to turn people out here. You need to go turn them out in Collin and Denton and Hayes and Clamell. 
But we got to turn them out everywhere. Yes. Yes. Your vote here in Austin counts for just as much as anybody else's vote anywhere else in the state. And it goes all the way up to the statewide total for these statewide candidates. It goes all the way up for your local um, candidates right here. And it's incredibly important that we turn those out who otherwise would not vote. In fact, the number one reason given by those who have not voted in previous elections is that no one has asked them to vote. They are literally waiting for you to show up. And won't it be some pretty powerful, profound, poetic, political justice when the very people they thought have been drawn out in this democracy are brought in by all of us and yeah. form the margin of victory when we win this on election night? Yeah. Yeah. And when we win, and when we win, yeah. the possibilities are unbounded. It means women making their own decisions about their own bodies yeah. and their yeah. own yeah. The lives of our children ahead of the interests of the NRA or the government. Yeah. Yeah. It means having the backs of public school educators, paying them enough yeah. to the second or third job, and ensuring that they have more valuable classroom time to yeah. spend with those kids by canceling the STAR test. Yeah. Yeah. yeah! And for our democracy, it means not only must it be easier to get on the rolls, so Automatic voter registration, online voter registration, same day voter registration. Wow. Yes. But we end the practice of members of Congress choosing their voters, replace gerrymandering, yes. yes. citizen led. Yes. 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 And to make sure you can take some time off to vote, we replace Confederate Heroes Day as a state yeah. holiday. Oh my God, that is. We are only here right now because of those who preceded us and made it possible. Um, LBJ, first Texas president, when he's giving his voting rights speech in March of 1965, eight days earlier, bloody Sunday, John Lewis trying to cross the Edmund Pettus Bridge, beat within an inch of his life at the tender age of 24 years old. He puts him in this tradition of great American heroes who've been willing to sacrifice themselves to ensure that this democracy actually works. And he says something to the effect of, as it was at Concord in Lexington, as it was at that courthouse in Appomattox in 1865, so it is today in America in 1965, these brave patriots willing to do whatever it takes to make sure that this democracy actually works. But for all those people, who preceded us, we would not have this opportunity right now. And if you think about it, we are the heirs of their service, their struggle, and their sacrifice. And what we do with this inheritance will determine our future and define us in the eyes of our kids and the generations to come forever after. And about those generations, our kids, so mine are 15, 14, and our youngest just turned 12 yesterday. God bless you. <laughs> they do not get a vote in this election, but through the actions that we take and the commitments that we make right here, right now, at this moment. And so thinking about them and knowing that their eyes are on us, and at some point there is going to be an accounting. I don't know if it will be on the 9th of November. I don't know if it will be 10 years from now, but think about this in your life. Those kids who are our conscience, will turn back from the future to this moment and say, when all this was happening, when all of you had all the power in the world to confront it and overcome it, what did you do? We've got to be able to tell them that we came through, that we won this election, and we set Texas on the right track. Yes. You all with me? Yeah! yeah! We're going to hang out for a little while. I know that Janet and Luke and these other great candidates will as well. Do me this favor. If you have some time, take a picture with us. Post that picture literally before you leave this parking lot. Um, those who are going to decide this election may not see our television ads, may not even know that we exist, might not know the stakes of this election, may not trust us. Look, these are politicians. Why should I waste my time and my hope? on them doing anything for me, but they know you and they trust you, you're a family to them, you're friends, you're colleagues, you're classmates, 
they see you standing with us saying that you have voted, that you're doing what you can, they're going to be inspired to do the same. That's how we're going to break through and bring more of these voters in. Thank you all so much for coming.